tell you guys. So I'm about to take the band-aid off. If you guys didn't see earlier, I was trying to open a popsicle for my son with a butter knife and cut myself real, real bad. So I'm going to try to take it off. It's been hurting all day. I got a little bit of um, aquaphor I'm going to put on it. So that when I put the next band-aid on there, it doesn't stick. I just wanted to put it on there so it could stop bleeding. even cut through my nail, my actual nail. Let me see if I can get a better. Look at that. Like, it's literally, that's what it looks like from a butter knife you guys and I'm not gonna lie my head's been so gone um some of you guys may know this um person who just passed away recently out here um and you know that's kind of been on my mind a lot only because it's like we have a like she's a very 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 sweet person this is like the last thing i ever would expect to hear or find out about her passing away that looks so bad it hurts so bad i'm not even gonna lie about her passing away like that's like one of the last people i ever expected anything bad to happen because she was really 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 sweet and um you know she has kids just like I do, but she has two. She has uh, a baby boy and uh, an older one. Then slow down, putting. Sorry, I had to get my son because he had his juice and it was just like spilling. But um, she has kids, and you know, I was just, you know. If there's anything that I wish could tell her, I, I would, you know, everything's going to be okay. You don't have to ha worry about anything. Like, your kids will be all right. Like, my door's always open. Like, you know what I mean? So, it's, it's, it's hard. And it's crazy because all these people are dying. It's not even because of corona. It's because of how this world is. That's pretty messed up, if you ask me. That's why I don't go outside. And I decided to just start doing this. Before I put a band-aid on it, this is what it looked like. like. You guys can kind of see it. I ain't going to no hospital because I, I just feel like it's not necessary even though it looks like it's necessary. I don't feel like that it is. I'm just gonna put a band-aid on it. And go from there but yeah that was my morning dealing with a just cutting and I knew that I was distracted this morning because the past couple of days I've been distracted so I knew that it, you know okay let me not use the knife let me take the safe road and use a butter knife I used a butter knife and that's what got me maybe I would have been better off using a knife and my thing is that's how I know I was just my head is just gone because of how deep it is I should have been felt it like it should have been start hurting like I started cutting through my fingernail so, you know, 
y'all if y'all are y'all got a lot on your mind just make sure you guys are really 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 careful with whatever you guys are handling even if it is a butter knife because anything can happen as you guys can see and i'm a hundred percent like i'll go get the knife for you guys like i haven't even moved it because after that it just basically freaked me out like i really just cut my hand open this is the butter knife i was using like it still got popsicle juice on here because i was using it to cut open the popsicle for my son it still has popsicle juice on it like after i cut myself i was done like no i screamed real like it hurt it so bad like i was just like i don't know how i did not feel that before even i it, it even started going that deep i feel like i was literally just standing there cutting at my finger so if y'all got a lot on your plate just make sure y'all take a deep breath be as safe as possible because you don't want to harm yourself in a in any type of way just because you have a lot of your plate make sure you guys take time out your day to go get air to do whatever it is that you need to do to make sure your head is not clogged up with a bunch of stuff that is going on because i know it could be hard but with that being said have a very very blessed day i hope you guys are liking the videos that post be that i'm posting like i said i'm just a regular girl you know doing me uh, you know i gotta find something to do while i'm home so i decided to just start youtube and i will let you guys know more about me and my background and where i come from and why i decided to come here and you know all sorts of stuff like that but um yeah just stay tuned to my channel i will be doing a part two hot noodle challenge as soon as i can get a hold of my niece if she's not like yeah my niece like he she's my boyfriend's niece but i call her my niece too i don't know if any of you guys do that too but i do but uh, as soon as i get a hold of her then we'll be doing that and um you know stay safe stay positive keep doing you